Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is one in a series that I'm doing on AI in Unreal. And we're quite a way through the series, and we're doing a rolling example. So let me break off quickly and uh, remind you what the example is. So the AI character is going to stand on the spot, and if it can't see the player, it'll keep turning around looking in random directions. So every few seconds, it will turn and face in a different direction looking for the player. If the AI character catches sight of the player, it will stare at them. So as the player moves around, the AI character will rotate on the spot, uh, but keep facing the player as if it's watching them carefully. Once the AI character has had sight of the player, and if they then lose sight of the player, so if the player goes around a corner or something, uh, the AI character will then move to the last known location of the player. So it'll go to where it last saw the player. And then once it gets there, it goes back to looking round if it can't see the player, or if it does catch sight of the player, it'll revert to the staring. So uh, that then starts the cycle once again. If it loses sight of the, of the player again, then uh, it will again move to the last known location of the player. So where are we up to? We've got a <coughs> AI controllable character in the scene. Uh, we've got a uh, AI controller, which is plugged into the character. We've got a behavior tree, which we're using. And inside that, we've got the behavior. We've got a couple of reports out for talking task. And we've got the staring task. And we've uh, modified the uh, blah, 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 where are we? We've got a, a service which works out, uh, what's the service? There we go. Which works out uh, if the AI character can see the player character or not. Um, and we've got the staring task, which means that uh, sets focus on the uh, player. So we had a problem at the end of the last video, which is that even when she lose, loses sight of us, she keeps following, tracking where we are. And that's because when you do that set focus, it keeps the focus on the object, even if that task doesn't capture what you're doing, because the setting the focus actually only needs to be done once. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to fix that, and at the same time, uh, we're going to put in the casting about behavior um, to get her to look in different places when she's not looking at us. So we need to make uh, our AI character uh, look around when she can't see the player. Uh, so the way to do this, uh, once again, is we're going to do it in a task. Um, so we're going to open up the tree to create a new task. New task. Derived from Blueprint Base. There we go. And as you'll see me often do, I close this because I want to rename it. Um, it's a bit here. I'm going to STLK task, and we're going to call it casting about. So let's call it task cast. Okay. So in this task, uh, we want her to look in random directions. Let's start with the execute nodes that we need. Execute. We're going to receive execute, and whilst we're at it, we'll just put the last one in there. Execute, finish execute. Right, there we go. Um, so it's, it's similar to the same focus, but we're going to use the focal point instead. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, find out where her location is, and then we're going to get her to pick a point within a certain distance from her randomly, and she's going to stare at that point, wherever that point is. So the first thing we need to do is to actually get hold of her as a character. So um, we're dragging this out. We're going to cast to S-T-K okay, AI controller, and then we're going to get the control character. So get control form. And once again, we're going to cast Actually, we don't need to cast that um, because the pawn has a location, so we'll just need the location. So get actor location. There we go. I'm going to keep moving this up. And the um, the node we want is get points in. I'm back. I had to look it up. Get a random reachable point. Get random reachable point in radius. 
that just demonstrates that I'm getting old and my memory isn't what it used to be. So we're going to start from the origin point of this radius is going to be the location of the AI character uh, we're going to use as a radius. It doesn't really matter how big this is, but we might as well just have a, a little bit of a distance. So we're going to use 200 centimeters, which is two meters. And then there should be a random location. And what we need to do is to get the AI controller again, drag it all the way here, and we've got to set focal point, which is the makes her focus on a point in space rather than on an actual object. Uh, and this is not a tick success there. So, have I done everything correctly? Is everything plugged in? And who can say? Um, let's see what happens. Uh, yes, we've got to put this in the tree. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it after the talky task and make a little change to that in a second. Um, um, yes, I have remembered what I've forgotten. So, I'm just going to put the cast in. What I want to do as well, um, the way that this is set up here is that there's a delay in here, which is a three second delay. So she'll redo her casting every three seconds. What I actually want is for her to do that a bit more randomly. So we're going to put in a random delay instead. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to chuck in a couple of variables here. So I'm going to have min delay, and that's going to be a floating point number. That. And max delay. And on my camel case properly. There we go. And then we're going to do uh, get random floats. Not gets just random float in range. So we can do the bounds, the top and the bottom of those bounds. Um, um, and I'm just going to expose those so we could actually change those in the um, behavior tree if we wanted. I'm just going to set max delay to three seconds. And then delay it uh, one second. Uh, and then I'm going to actually execute that delay. So what we've actually got now is we've got two delays going on because this talking task also has a three second delay. So I'm just going to take that down to 0 0.1 so that this delay takes over as being the one that's important. Right. Let's see if that works or if I've made any more mistakes. So she can see me. That's fine. Let's get us a loose sight of me. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, she's turned. Look, she's turning. So it's not perfect because she's um, turning instantaneously. It'd be better if she was kind of uh, twisting around in place, but um, I'm not going to deal with that. Because really what I'm trying to show you is the uh, principles rather than get it finely tuned. Okay. So there's one more thing to do, which is when she's lost sight of me, she should move to the last known location of the player. Uh, we'll deal with that in the next video. So that's it from me for now.